All right, Max. When you came over here, we're like, well, this guy is former one guy. He's, he'll smoke everybody, but it doesn't work like that because these cars are pretty even. We got a lot of talents over here. Good job getting on the podium and stuff. Just talk about. It's got to be fun for you to have a chance to show what you can do, whether it's in Formula One, you know, you, you race with one hand tied behind your back in some of those teams. Yeah, no, I've said it to quite a few people. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely enjoyable coming back and being able to race in something because, you know, it's, I, I get out the car now at the end of the race with a smile on my face going, you know, that was a good, fun race. But, um, you know, it is harder stepping back than people think um, until you've tried it. Um, you know, you, you, you're expecting more from the car. But, I, you know, I'm slowly getting there and I've... You know, I've always had the speed. I think it's in qualifying where I'm just probably overdriving because I'm just not used to having such a little grip and downforce. But such you know, such low grip, such low grip yeah. and downforce from a Formula One car. But you know, I, that's not an excuse. I, I've got the experience to get around it, and I think actually, you know, I've got the speed now. Um, we've had a bit of poor luck, but I know you make your own luck, so uh, I'm not sure. going to go on about that. But it's uh, it's nice to be racing in the States and uh, getting used to their way of life. Can you look down the road? Is, would you like to go back to Formula One if the right opportunity comes along? Do you think you'd like to make IndyCar your home someday? Have you thought that far ahead? You know, things have changed dramatically in the last six months. And so, uh, you know, I don't really know where my sort of heart is at the moment. You know, Formula One at the end of the day is the pinnacle. It's what I've always wanted to do. And I don't feel like I ever had the real chance to, you know, show what I could do. So if anything came up, yeah, I would take it. But then, in, you know, I've got to say, if anything came up in IndyCar, you know, I would take it, and at the moment I'm doing WEC as well, and three of those things are the you know, top of motorsport. So I've got options on two of them at the moment, and if Formula One came up, I'd have to make that decision at the time. All right, what, your next challenge is ovals. What do you think of ovals? Have you had a chance to look at them and just think maybe, oh, this might be fun? I've done uh, one day at Homestead, and you know it was a big shock to the system. I, I think it should be mandatory that every European driver should you know, experience it, because until you've actually done it, you don't know what it's like. Um, I had a chat with Dario this morning, and uh, you know he said he found it daunting the first time he did it. So I'm glad I'm not the only one, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to racing here. I think this is a good place to start, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a victory. All right. Hell of a job, you young man. Much. Cheers. We wish you good luck the rest of the season. Robin Miller for Racer.com. Thanks for shooting in the rain, Marshall. Thank you.